Live from Dallas-Fort Worth, this is WFAA News. Well, we continue to monitor breaking news this midday. A house explodes, nothing left but scrap wood, as you can see in this video from Chopper 8. The man inside badly burned. Welcome back to Midday. I'm Tashara Parker. The blast happened around 7.30 this morning. Atmos Arson Investigators ATF all on the scene right now in West Worth Village. That is just northwest of Fort Worth. And our Scoop Jefferson, he's been on the scene all morning. He has the latest. This house explosion happened around 730 this morning here in the 5600 block of Waters Place. Paramedics transported one adult male to the hospital in critical condition. He was taken by helicopter. We learned that his wife had just left the house with their child to take their child to school right before the explosion happened. The explosion destroyed their home. It also shook and damaged other homes nearby, including the home of one of the neighbors who came to the rescue. And I could see debris falling into my yard at the other end of the property, so I hustled down there. The closer I got, I could hear screaming, loud screaming. And I saw the house was totally gone, not burning, just gone. And there was a man standing in the middle of the house screaming. He said he was alone. I said, okay, just hang on. We're gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna get you out of here. You have any clothes? He said, yeah, they're in my bedroom. Where well, was your bedroom? Anyway, the bedroom's gone. Everything's gone. He's standing in the middle of three doorways, just standing there froze. This is an ongoing investigation. Investigators are checking to see if this is a natural gas leak. They are working with the gas company. The Again, the victim is in critical condition and was transported to the hospital by a helicopter. They will try to determine exactly what caused this explosion that destroyed their home. Well, so much for this story with this story rather still unfolding right now on the scene and in the investigation. We'll bring you updates on our app WFAA.com as well as on News 8 at 4.